Masterclass in Understanding and Using Fate and Resilience in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition. Step number one is determining how many Fate and Resilience points you have for your character. You will find this in the main tab located in the center of your character sheet. That will determine all the points you have. Next step is determining what you can spend those points to do in your games. For that, go to your journal entries, take a look at rules, and take a look at the Fate and Resilience tab. This will give an overview of what you can spend these points on. If you're interested in more details, please take a look at the core rulebook, which I provided in the video description. If you're interested in on how to get these journal entries, I would take a look at the uh, links that I have posted for Warhammer Core Module, which is for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Uh, fate and Resilience is a measure of the motivation, of the fortune, of the luck and favor that you have beyond all the other creatures in the old world. You can spend these points to accomplish certain tasks. For example, Fate and Fortune. Fate and Fortune is, a, is basically a measure of your ability to survive against the odds, to prevail where ordinary folks fail. Fortune can be spent to re-roll at failed tests. So if you fail a test to climb up the cliff and you fall to your death, you can re-roll that with fortune and hopefully you'll succeed the next time. You can add one success level to a test after it is rolled. For example, if you roll to hit a target and you barely succeed, you manage to hit the outside ring of that target, you can increase the success level of that, increase the degree that you succeeded, by spending fortune to add one success level. So you add one, maybe it hits the middle ring. If you add one more, maybe it hits the bullseye. Uh, the next one you can spend fortune on is to change your initiative order. So you can change it so that you go first that round. This is very important for when a lot of enemies are about to act and they can kill you. So you spend fortune in order to act first so that may you can get out of harm's way. Fate is your ability to avoid death, to survive in the most unlikely of situations. For fortune, as you've seen, is more of how lucky you are. Fate, you can use in two specific ways to avoid death. First is to die another day. That is when you're about to be killed. You spend fate in order to make sure you are not killed. No matter what happens, you survive, but you play no further part in the current encounter. For example, if you're fighting to the death against a pack of orcs, and you are about to be killed, you can spend one fate to make sure that you get knocked out and you do not die, but you can no longer fight those orcs. You can no longer help your companions. You can also spend fate to dodge a blow. So for example, an orc is about to swing a great axe and take off your head. Well, he hits, you're about to die. You decide to spend that fate. You avoid the damage, you dodge the blow miraculously, and you keep on playing. Now, the first option is the safest option for when it's hopeless. The second option is use numerous, like many, many times in combat to just continue on, avoid one blow, and fight on. At the beginning of the game, fortune is always equal to your starting fate. And you can regain fate and gain more fate through your games by performing acts of extreme heroism bravery or something of extreme significance. So you see that there's a trade-off here. Fate will help you avoid damage, avoid misfortune, but you can only gain more fate by taking risks, by doing stuff of extreme heroism, extreme bravery, something that would be extremely risky. So there's a trade-off here. The more fate you try to gain, the more fate you'll have to use. And fortune is a measure of that luck that you gain from having more fate. Resilience and resolve is a little bit different than fate and fortune because it's a measure of your personal drive, of your determination, of how much spirit you have in you, how much willpower you have. You can spend resolve in the following ways. Resolve you can spend to become immune to psychology, such as terror or fear. You can say, nope, I'm spending psychology on that. And you use one resolve in order to ignore it. <clears throat> you can also use that to ignore the modifiers of a critical wound. So for example, if you have a crushed arm, your arm, you know, your arm is broken, you can use it to ignore all the me negative penalties associated with that critical wound and just tough it out. You can also remove conditions, which is extremely important. 
conditions such as prone, which is when you're knocked down, such as being on fire, such as being uh, poisoned. You can remove any condition, as long as it makes sense, with approval with your game master. You can spend resolve in order to remove it. So this is basically drawing upon your inner reserves in order to temporarily bypass something that's affecting your character. Next one is Resilience. Resilience is your ability to defy corruption. It's your ability to succeed when others fail. You can do this in two ways. You can spend Resilience in two ways. You can choose to not mutate. Mutations are something that happens when you take Dark Deals, which we'll discuss in our combat section, but just think about it like a free reroll, but you take Corruption. You become possessed by negative energy. You can use resilience in order to not mutate, in order to not mutate a second arm, in order to not become possessed by a demon, these kinds of things. You can say no to mutations if you spend one resilience. Or you can say, I'm going to automatically succeed on something before I even have to roll. If there is something that's so important to you that you need to succeed first time, you can spend resilience to do so, and it will always succeed, no matter what. No matter if there's 10 ogres trying to kill you, no matter if there's a wizard trying to blast you, you can spend one resilience, and that one time, for that one specific instance, you will succeed. The Game Master will determine what happens, but it will be a success. Now, determining how you gain back resilience and resolve is pretty interesting, because resilience is gained um, through an act that is of extreme importance to you, of extreme importance to, for your motivation. We discuss your motivations in the character creation guide in the video description, but it's basically how your character acts. So you gain resilience when you do something of extreme importance to your motivation. Pretend it's justice. Well, one thing you can, one thing that's extremely important for, your, for justice is making sure that the right criminals are punished, even if it's against your interests. For example, there's a noble trying to give you a prize, trying to give you gold, but you know that nobles corrupt. You want to turn that noble in. You want to report them to the authorities. But if you do, that noble will not give you any cash, will not give you any prizes. You decide to do so. You decide to take a risk. That noble sends a hit squad to kill you. But you gain resilience because you did what your character what you said your character would do. You did. You were stayed true to your motivation. Resolve is when you do something that is just basically acting upon your motivation, but it's not as extreme. It's not as of extreme importance. So it's, for example, dra drawing on the justice element, of justice motivation. Pretend you you capture a highwayman. Instead of killing them, you turn them into the watchman. You turn them into the town watch. You gain resolve for them. It's pretty good. It's not of extreme importance but it is acting upon your motivation. Very nice. And yep, yeah, here are a few examples for you to understand what Resilience and Resolve does. And that's gonna be it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have mastered how to use Fortune, Fate, Resolve, and Resilience. And if you're interested in more, take a look at our combat guide, take a look at our character creation guide and the playlist that we have for the entire Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay series. Thank you very much. Have a great one.